once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Boy, do I love sitting down to watch a new work, and I mean any new work, written by Aaron Sorkin. Nobody writes dialogue like him, both rat-a-tat exchanges between characters and the kind of slick, ranting monologues where characters rattle off a million different statistics to put another character in their place. Now, his previous script, Steve Jobs, was an absolute masterpiece, and one which I will frequently put on to marvel at the crackling dialogue and the brilliance of the overall structure of the film. Now we have Molly's Game, wherein he directs his own script for the very first time, and the results are, uh, pretty great if not quite at Steve Jobs' levels of perfection. The story bounces around a bit, for reasons that seem a little inexplicable from a narrative perspective, but ultimately, that's okay, because there's so much good stuff here. Molly's Game tells the story of Molly Bloom, a former Olympic skier who reinvents herself after a career-ending injury as a personal assistant to some Hollywood big shot, and ends up, ultimately, running high-stakes poker games which attract the rich and famous and powerful, and ultimately, the armed and dangerous. How she got there involves a lot of details, and Sorkin certainly does not skimp on those. I love movies like this that show you the ins and outs of how things get done behind the scenes. You could also say that that's Sorkin's specialty. What with Sports Night, The West Wing, The Newsroom, Moneyball, and of course, Steve Jobs. Now, in Molly's Game, Sorkin gives you a whirlwind tour of everything from the accident that claimed Molly's skiing career, to the poker hands that broke millionaires, to the way that the government built a RICO case that involved a poker princess. Pure initiative and street smarts lead to opportunities. Opportunities lead to deals. Deals lead to betrayals. Those betrayals lead to complications involving threats, arrests, and even mob beatdowns. It's a hell of a story, and Sorkin and his cast make it really sing. You learn a lot here at a breakneck pace, all while the plot moves forward, oh, and then backward a little bit, and then forward again, and back and forth a little bit for some inexplicable reason. Now, I mentioned earlier Sorkin's knack for quickly rattled off dialogue, and he gives Jessica Chastain plenty of opportunities to do so, but in voiceover form, mostly, there are only a few lightning-fast exchanges between characters in person here, which I found sort of odd for a Sorkin script, and perhaps that's a symptom of Sorkin directing for the first time. He directs his actors to pause more, to take their time, living in the space between the words in a way that I've never really seen Sorkin dialogue performed before. There is a killer monologue from Idris Elba as Chastain's beleaguered lawyer late in the film, and also a conversation between Kevin Costner as Molly Bloom's dad and Chastain on a park bench that is still brilliant be worded, but much more affecting for this slower pace. It's not bad, per se, it's just a change for someone used to watching Sorkin dialogue scenes play like a Wimbledon match of verbal repartee. There's nothing here that quite reaches the dizzying heights of the greatest Sorkin cinematic moments, and that's okay! Molly's Game is a movie with its own unique rhythm that causes you to sort of guiltily admire its complicated anti-hero, even before giving you context that explains why you should really just admire her full stop. I award Molly's Game a large bag of popcorn. If you love Sorkin dialogue like I do, this one has more than enough of that magic to give you your fix, and a dynamite performance by Jessica Chastain to serve as a kicker. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more. And support us, please, by clicking subscribe while you're there, and by clicking the thumbs up icon below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on Molly's Game in the comments as well. Let me know. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and I'm dressed like the Cinemax version of me.